Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video. Sorry I've been MIA um, for a couple of weeks now. I have been, you know, processing a few stuff and I needed some time to myself. Um, but I'm back and this week I actually had in mind to do a video about something totally unrelated to Mother's Day. But today I actually got up and realized it was Mother's Day and I was just like, you know what, like, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there, um, you know, that have experienced the loss of a mother and I'm sure they can relate to perhaps some of the things we're gonna discuss today. So as you see here, I do have a guest. Um, we happen to live together, so therefore it was kind of easy um, to kind of have her come on. I was a bit hesitant at first, I'll be honest, because I know that um, speaking about the loss of my grandmother, which is my aunt's mother, um, you know, can be um, quite difficult and emotional, but I said, you know what, this is what my purpose is to be able to get more people to share about their experiences experiences with loss and get to normalize it and hopefully you know help impact the lives of others so without further ado um i'm going to introduce my my aunt ash gonna introduce herself a little bit um and also just fyi my aunt is bilingual however she feels much more comfortable expressing herself in spanish so I'm gonna ask her a few questions in English. She'll respond in Spanish and I'll make sure to do the translation just so we get all our bases covered. So without further ado, I'll have my aunt um, introduce a little bit about herself. Hola, mi nombre es Sara. Soy como Lynn dijo, soy la tía de ella. Y hemos pasado todos por una situación bien difícil con la pérdida de su mamá, que era mi hermana hace nueve años, y de mi mamá hace cuatro años. Ha sido una situación bien difícil, pero en familia nos hemos dado mucho soporte y hemos tratado de seguir adelante. So what she pretty much said was that, you know, just to reiterate the fact that she was my mother's sister um, and, you know, as a family, as a whole, we did, you know, endure a lot um, during that time. Um, and she also lost her mother about four years ago. Um, however, with the support of family, you know, we've been able to manage and cope along. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to actually go into the question and answer segment of this video. And then we'll continue discussing, you know, Mother's Day um, as it relates to people, you know, who don't have their mother physically present with them. So do you want to tell us a little bit about what was your experience like losing my grandmother, your mother? Um, you know, tell us about what happened um, and how that has impacted and affected your life. Okay. Um, yo era muy cercana a mi mamá. Nosotras vivíamos sola ella y yo en el apartamento ella dormía conmigo yo trabajaba una noche yo llegué y ella estaba bien prácticamente ella estaba bien en la madrugada cuando escucho que ella está poniéndose mal le pregunto qué le pasa y que si quiere que la lleve al médico y me dice que no que ella iba a ir con su home attendant en la mañana so, uh, la paro ahí. so I'll stop there so I can translate just so people can follow along. So, so far what my aunt has responded was that her and her mother um, had a very close relationship. They lived together here in the apartment. Um, they were so close that, you know, they even slept together. So um, there was one night she came back home from work um, and she saw my grandmother totally fine. And during the night, um, my grandmother started to not feel well. And my aunt, you know, asked her, do you want me to call EMS to take you to the hospital? And my grandmother said, no, I'll just go with my home health aid the following day. Um, después, ella le, le, le di un calmante. Me dijo que le diera un calmante porque le dolía la cabeza. Le di el calmante. Más adelante, escucho que sigue mal. Y inmediatamente llamo la ambulancia para llevarla al hospital, camino al hospital. So, shortly after, you know, she asked her if she wanted to go to the hospital, um, she con my grandmother continued to not feel well, so my aunt gave her um, like a pain reliever, um, Tylenol. Yeah. She gave her a Tylenol for the pain. Um, however, she saw that my grandmother wasn't getting better. If anything, she was getting worse, so she actually decided to call EMS. Um, cuando vinieron los paramédicos, que íbamos camino al hospital, 
en el camino ella murió. So, while my aunt and my grandmother were in the hospital on their way to uh, Montefiore, which is actually a few blocks away from where we live, um, she, my grandmother actually um, stopped breathing and, um, you know, more or less passed away um, while in the ambulance. She went under cardiac arrest. Trataron de resucitarla. 15 minutos después, la conectaron a un respirador artificial, pero ya tenía daño cerebral. So, um, at which point, the paramedics tried to revive her for a total of 15 minutes. Now, you don't have to be a scientist or a doctor to understand and realize that, you know, if you've been without oxygen for more than three or four minutes, pretty much there is going to be brain damage. Um, ya después de ahí, lo que vino es que la desconectaron y mi mamá murió. Después de la muerte de mi mamá, para mí ha sido bien difícil acostumbrarme a estar sin ella. So, pretty much in the hospital, um, so she didn't say all of this, but I'm gonna, you know, just assist because I was there as well. Um, so, during the time that my grandmother actually, you know, was revived um, in the hospital, she stayed in a state of a vegetative state for a span of two weeks. Um, she was connected to, you know, oxygen and everything like that because she couldn't breathe on her own. It was the most agonizing two weeks of, I think, all of our lives just because one minute the doctors would say one thing and the next minute they would say another thing. So at the end of the two weeks, my grandmother did um, pass away, um, you know, finally, um, after having endured everything she did. Um, and my aunt's now going to describe her experience after her loss. Después de la muerte de mi madre, ha sido un momento bien difícil, ha sido bien duro para mí aceptarlo. Todavía, cuatro años después, me estoy acostumbrando, pero lo que más ha tenido valor es el soporte de la familia, que hemos estado todos muy unidos, dándonos mucho amor. Y sigo tratando de seguir adelante, aceptando la muerte de mi mamá, So it's been quite difficult for my aunt um, after my grandmother passed away just because their relationship was very, very close. Like pretty much she woke up to my grandmother, went to sleep to my grandmother. They would, they were like confidant, best friends, supports for each other. So losing my grandmother, my aunt pretty much lost that support system, her best friend and many people in one. Um, my aunt said, you know, it's been a devastating experience for her. However, it has helped, you know, being able to have the support of family um, to kind of help her along the process. Um, sí, he tenido el, el soporte de toda la familia y eso ha ayudado a, a levantarme un poquito. Um, cuando llegan estos días, es normal que la extrañamos, pero también sabemos que tenemos a los otros hijos, a los sobrinos, soy madre de dos hijos y uno de crianza. So pretty much what she said that although, you know, it's been hard for her, it's um, helped to have the support of family. These kind of days, like Mother's Day, like any holiday, do become a bit difficult because um, naturally she does miss her mother. She wishes he, she was here. However, it keeps her going to know and to understand that she has, you know, her kids, she has her nieces, her nephews, cousins, and different family members to look forward to. You know, um, she does get calls from, from family, just wish her a happy Mother's Day and vice versa. Um. No solamente perdí a mi mamá, perdí mi herma, una hermana hace nueve años y perdí mi otra hermana hace un año. So, pretty much what she's saying is that not only did she lose her mom, but she also lost her sister, which is my mom. Um, and she lost um, her oldest sister, which is my other aunt, um, just a year ago. So, my mom passed away nine years ago. My grandmother passed away four years ago. And my other aunt, which is her sister, passed away one year ago. So it's been kind of like a loss after loss um, ordeal for her. Um, so that's pretty much um, the story of, you know, her experience with losing her mom and how she looks to the holidays now. Now I'll share a little bit about my experience very briefly um, in relation to Mother's Day and how it felt initially. Initially, I'll be honest with you, my mother died April, Mother's Day naturally falls in May. So it was um, kind of, 
painful and dreadful initially just because I didn't know what to expect and I, I'm not sure if a lot of you can relate but I anticipated that the day was going to feel like shit to say the very least just because it's like here's a day that's dedicated to you know your mom and you're supposed to honor her you're supposed to um, you know get her these nice flowers or you know make it a big deal that you know this is your day so let me celebrate you but here I was you know within a month of losing her having to actually again recognize and um, remember that I no longer had my mother and it was interesting because at that time um, I like I said I was do like dreading for the day to actually come because I didn't know how I was going to feel I didn't know if I was going to feel any worse than I already was um, so I was working at a bank um, during this time and I actually I, I was you know um, helping customers I was a teller at the time and I remember a few customers saying oh you know happy Mother's Day to you and to yours blah 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 and it wasn't until this one customer asked me you know what are you doing for your mom like a, a specific question and I wasn't necessarily prepared for that but I said you know what let me just go with it I didn't I wasn't prepared to talk about it just because it was so recent but I pretty much told her um, you know I, I'm not able to see my mom, you know, and she was like, you know, why not? You should make it an effort to go see her. I was like, well, she kind of lives too far away and I can't reach her. So it was very symbolic for me because obviously, yeah, she's very far so far that I can't reach her being that she was, you know, deceased. But in the minds of this customer, she was like, okay, that makes sense. You know, they live far apart from each other. But after that, you know, I realized that I didn't feel any worse than I already was feeling just because, um, you know, I was pretty sad about my mom having just passed away a month before that. Um, so it actually taught me that sometimes we anticipate days, like special days, like holidays to feel worse. But it's like, you already know what it feels like to feel crappy on other days. So it kind of just becomes kind of like a streamline of, yeah, whatever, it's just another day. Um, but over the years, it has gotten better in the sense that I don't necessarily um, dwell so much on the specific day. When I feel sad, I feel sad for whatever reason, it doesn't necessarily correlate to the specific day. Like for example, my aunt sometimes, like on my mom's death anniversary or Mother's Day or birthday, she'll say, you know, I can imagine, you know, how difficult this day is for you. And I actually, this year I responded to her, I was like, listen, I'm fine. And that's one thing that I want to stress just because sometimes we feel pressured to feel or act a certain way, just because we think that that's how we honor our loved ones. Like how dare you not feel sad on Mother's Day when your mom is not here where it's like yeah I actually feel okay like I've actually found other ways that I can honor my mother while she's not physically here with me like whether that means going to the cemetery and bring her flowers or whether that means you know talking to my brothers about her or that simply means kind of passing on what you would like to have done or given to your own mother to other mothers right because all around us we're surrounded by mothers my aunt's a mother you know I know so many mothers my sister-in-law I know my cousin I, a lot of people that are actually mothers where it's like you know the gift that I would have wanted to give to my mother I tried to give to others and it feels pretty good I'll be honest with you now it does take time for you to get to that point so don't think that oh like I did what Lindsay said and I still feel like shit I still miss my mom no like obviously there's a time and place for everything and like I said Gr your grief experience is individual to you so perhaps what I'm explaining may be totally different than what you're experiencing and that's okay but what I want to stress and emphasize is that you shouldn't feel pressured to feel or not feel any certain type of way like my aunt she was on the phone earlier with her with you know her half sister and she pretty much was saying you know what I actually feel good today yeah because I understand that my mom she is not physically here but she moved to my heart I, I, I have her in my heart she's here with me I told y'all she know how to speak English. She'd be, just be tripping sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, so pretty much like sometimes we think that people are doing worse than what they are. And sometimes we ourselves as the one being affected feel like we have to almost feed into that vision of, you know, how you should feel or kind of experience this day where it's okay if you feel like shit and if you feel like crying and if you miss your loved one and, and if you That's wish true. they were here. But That's it's true. also okay if you're okay, like you don't have to put on 
on a show for anyone. As I mentioned to you, your grief experience, what other people think about your grief experience is none of your business. It's what feels natural and true to you. Like me and my aunt have literally been at home um, watching TV and just literally sharing in a good time that way. So it doesn't have to- And cooking. <laughs> and cooking. Yeah, she, that, she does that any other day. Um, but pretty much I've made this video to, to truly um, share in my experience and my aunt's experience that yes, while today may be a day that reminds you of what you don't have, today can also be a day where you start to build on new memories, on new traditions while holding on to your previous memories with your mother. And if there's something that I've learned in the nine years that I don't have my mom is that the last thing they want is for us to be suffering, is for us to be living in the past, because at the end of the day, we all have expiration dates. I hate to say it so bluntly, but the only thing you need to die is to be alive. And being that we're all alive, you know, that's a path that we're all walking. And what I truly want to hone in to the fact is that if you do have your mother today, if you do have anyone that represents a mother figure to you, truly don't wait until days like this to show them that you appreciate them, right? Tell them that you love, um, tell them everything that you have in your heart. Yeah. Express to her. Right. Because sometimes we get so caught up with life, with routine, with responsibilities, with everything else that we truly forget that our mothers were the ones that brought us into this world, that sacrificed so much for us, um, and you know, that would love us unconditionally, but it feels nice for them as well to, to understand that, you know, the same is reciprocated back and we're not just waiting for a day like this to give them, you know, a rose or a flower, whatever it may be. So my message for everyone today is remember what you had, honor what you had with your mother. She's no longer here, but also continue to live on what your mother would have wanted. So meaning whatever you would have wanted to give your mother today and didn't have the opportunity, find someone else, whether it's a relative, whether it's a friend, find someone else to share in, in that uh, memory with, just because again, that truly helps in knowing that number one, you've helped someone else's day be a little more special. And number two, you were able to get that out your system where it's like, oh, you wanna give your mother a flower? Okay, let me give my aunt a flower or someone else a flower that would have represented my mom, right? Yeah. So do you have any last words to say before we log off? Um, lo único que le puedo decir es que al que tenga su madre viva, que le demuestre que lo quiere, que le dé amor, regalos materiales, no nos los vamos a llevar. Nos quedamos con todo el amor que los hijos nos dan y disfruten a su madre y las que no lo tengan físicamente sepan que simplemente se mudaron al corazón de cada una de nosotras. Cuando no la tenemos, nos refugiamos en todo el amor que le teníamos y en pensar todo lo lindo que vivimos con ella. Right, so what she's saying is pretty much what I've reiterated throughout the video, which is just if you have your mother, truly appreciate her, value her, um, and just truly try to show her your love. And for those that don't have their mother on a day like today or every other day, um, understand that, you know, it's simply a transition between the real world realm to your heart. Because I do also believe that, you know, as cliche as it may sound, you know, our loved ones do continue living on in our hearts, you know? We've, we've shared experiences with them, memories, emotions. So those are things that no one else can take away from you. While physically they may not be here, they will, their spirit will continue to live on either through you or with you, whichever one you choose. But I really wish every mother out there and expecting mother a very happy Mother's Day. Um, and I hope that you guys are enjoying your time, even though, you know, these are interesting times to be celebrating holidays, being that we're so restricted with, you know, quarantine and pandemic. But hopefully that's all ending soon. So wish you guys nothing but the best and see you on the next video. And a Feliz Dia de las Madres. Thank you.